everyone, welcome to another edition our episode of Chef Mommy. I'm really excited to be here with you tonight. Today I'm going to be making garbanzo bean wraps. And it's something that you can make for lunch or for dinner or even for breakfast. Hey, there are no rules. But um, today I um, am making this because it's something that's easy and it's quick and my kids you know, they love it one day, they don't love it, but they're not allergic to it. So I kind of um, uh, gently asked them to have it and to try it and to keep an open mind about it. But um, so the ingredients that you need to make this are really, really simple. You can change things out to to um, be what you need. I make I make it with these flour tortilla um, tortillas. And you can, if you don't like this kind, I use this kind because it's my kids are not allergic to it. And um, <clears throat> but if you need to switch it out and use it for something else, you swap it for like wheat one or there's all kinds of flavors of them. It's whatever floats your boat. And if you are watching your weight and you don't want to use um, a flour shell, you can also swap it for lettuce. So, but that's what I use. I use that. I use two cans of garbanzo beans. And I, I happen to use the one with reduced sodium because I'm trying to cut back on salt for our entire family. I used one big onion chopped and I used four cloves of garlic. Uh, you can do less or more depending on what you like. And now that my oil is getting hot, I'm going to saute my vegetables just until they're kind of see-through because that's when the flavor is just perfect, says my mom. <laughs> Everybody has a chef mommy. Cooking for kids with allergies can be challenging, but it's not impossible. And so that's the whole reason why I'm doing this. I just happened upon the idea of doing it because I know how much I struggle when I found out that my kids had food allergies, I felt overwhelmed and I felt like, man, what can I feed them? So anyway, hopefully this helps somebody. And you know, maybe everything I do won't help you, but you can always sub it in and find out what does work for you. And hopefully it'll be helpful for somebody. Really, I just want to raise awareness about food allergies and so that people take, take us seriously at restaurants, at schools, at you know, just the general public, because a lot of us, when I was growing up, there were really, I didn't know anybody with food allergies. Today is very different. If you had food allergies, you were like weird, but today, no, it's very, very common, and we're learning how to deal with it. People may try and give your kids, you know, stuff like, oh, eat it, feed it to them, and it'll make them get over it. No. You feed it to my kids, and you'll send them to the hospital. So... That's the reason why I'm doing it, and um, I hope that it helps somebody. So the other ingredients I use are, we do a little bit of cucumbers, and I julienne the cucumbers. I just sliced them up, and I put them here in some foil. So I did some sliced cucumbers, and I have some spinach here, and I have some carrots that before... Um, I'm going to take the foil off for you. It's summertime and in my kitchen. I keep the doors open all the time. And it's wonderful and it's beautiful to feel like you're cooking in the outdoors. However, you could be cooking with flies. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm getting the flavor to come out of my garlic and my onions by kind of like sauteing them until they're kind of translucent. And you can see that. And then... I'm going to use, <clears throat> and I also use uh, some fresh lemon juice, maybe the juice of two lemons. Uh, my lemons weren't very big. And then I just use some seasonings that I like. Like, I really enjoy spike, but lately since I told you I'm trying to cut back on salt, um, I do you the, do use the salt-free spike. You can add seasonings to this stuff, and I'm telling you, my older sister, Ebony, when she was pregnant, this was like her favorite meal for me to make and one time I remember it was so funny she wanted it so bad and she made it and she put it in the blender and she she broke her blender and the she stuck her spoon in the blender trying to make everything blend but it messed up and the spoon just got all tangled up in the garbanzo beans and it was so terrible Ebony I'm sorry if you were here you could have some of this 
garbanzo bean wraps today. So it's really, really good. If a pregnant woman craves it, I mean, I don't know. That could be tricky, but it is really good. I think so. You may have to try it for yourself. All right, so I take the garbanzo, garbanzo bean wraps, I mean beans, and I put them in a blender. And I take um, my sauteed, it's kind of hot, so I'll have to be careful. My sauteed garlic and onion goes right into the blender. And I think I may have messed up a little bit because I should have kept a little bit of the juice from the garbanzo beans so that it'll actually blend. But we'll see how it goes. That's how Ebony broke her spoon in the blender and could not eat the, the hummus. So in, in a way, this is kind of like you're making hummus, but it's um, hummus that is safe. For me, my kids can't eat the tahini that are in regular hummus. So we just have to substitute and do ones that we can. And then I put the lemon juice right on in there. And then there was a lemon seed trying to sneak in there so I'll make sure it doesn't get in there. Two lemon seeds. So I put the lemon juice in there, yummy. And then I kind of just season it with garlic powder, more garlic powder. I know it sounds silly, but I really like garlic and I like onion. I think it brings a lot of flavor. Um, and I use, excuse me, my throat. <laughs> and I'm a singer. And I use this uh, spike in it just to give it some more flavor. And I am going to put a little bit of basil. My mom puts basil in everything. If you don't like basil, don't do it. <laughs> it gives things a kind of meaty flavor. And then I'm gonna try and blend it. Hang on while I blend it. Be right back. So I'm back. I had to switch to my food processor. It, was, it proved to be more effective. Um, here are the hummus. So we blended it all up with the lemon juice and the onion and garlic, and then we just made a hummus out of it. And now I'm just gonna make a wrap. I took my tortillas, I put them in the oven. I made them kind of warm uh, for about maybe, I don't know, a minute. And here is my, I have spinach, cucumbers, and I did something different with my carrots. I kind of made like a marinade with it, uh, for it, with um, honey and apple cider vinegar. And you can add, a, and I added a pinch of salt to it just so that my carrots would have a little bit of a kick, but they are fresh grated carrots. I told you this is simple because it is. So you wanna just get some garbanzo beans on that tortilla, like so. And you can use any kind of tortilla, I, like I said earlier. It doesn't have to be this plain white one. It could be whatever you think your kids would eat or whatever you like. And it is really good. And you don't have to use these ingredients. You can switch them out if you like avocado, if you like tomato, you can do whatever you like on it. But for my family, we like cucumbers, some spinach. I get to be a sneaky mommy and put some things in it that they may not normally eat. And isn't that pretty? Some carrots. And here is the spinach. And it's a very light lunch. And like I said, if you don't want to eat the, have it with, um, with bread at all, you don't have to have it with bread. You can do it with lettuce. And it tastes just as delicious and nutritious. The people that are always, uh, uh, the ones that are the true judges, are outside playing basketball <laughs> and playing right now. <clears throat> See if I can make them eat it, but I'm always, I'm all about sneaking some vegetables in. You're not allergic to vegetables, we're gonna have some vegetables. Some people are allergic to vegetables. You can eat it like this, like a taco, or I like to make it like a really, like a wrap, and so they feel like they're getting a burrito of sorts. And if I had a toothpick, I'd stick it in it. And there you are, garbanzo bean wraps. You can do some chips on the side if your family's not allergic to chips. Uh, for me, I would do some kale chips on the side. Next time, I'll show you how to make some kale chips. But until then, remember, you are not your food allergy and you can find a way to get around it. Mommies, daddies who are dealing with kids, cooking for folk with food allergies, do not be dismayed. You will survive, you will overcome, you will find ways to feed your children and to keep them safe. Until then, 
keep hope alive and make try these uh, garbanzo bean wraps.